It has taken a mere 10 months, but we finally figured out why my digestive system hates me. Why my appetite's all over the place, why my strength is all over the place. We finally figured out what's going on. I got the results from the pill procedure and I have been diagnosed with Crohn's disease. So what's Crohn's disease? Crohn's disease is a digestive illness and in the simplest terms, basically your intestines get swollen. In my case, my small intestine is swollen and there's scars along it, a lot of inflammation going on in there. That causes a lot of pain, cramping, and of course, lack of appetite, which has been my biggest concern since like February. Why do I have no appetite? Because your intestines can get swollen and enlarged, causing me discomfort whenever I eat. Now, what causes it? In my specific case, mine is more of an autoimmune illness. And for those who don't know, sadly due to imperfection, our bodies and ourselves can actually attack each other and cause these autoimmune illnesses. Basically, my immune system can be malfunctioning, which can cause complications such as Crohn's disease. Now, is this disease curable? Sadly, no. It will be curable soon. Close friends know what I'm talking about. It is treatable, so I will be on medication. Now, hopefully the meds will help increase my appetite so I can eat more. And if not, that might mean I have another disease involving my stomach and not my intestines. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Another question you might have is how does Crohn's disease affect your diet? I imagine since the small intestine does digest carbs, a huge amount of carbs could irritate it and cause discomfort, which is probably why most patients with Crohn's disease are on a low carb diet. I'm so glad A&P pays off. Anyways, so most of my diet right now is just consisting of just liquid protein shake, blended fruits and protein coffee, um, cooked vegetables. I mean, I tend to eat a low amount of carbs anyway, so that's not a huge adjustment for me. How does the disease affect me? I have my good days and my bad days. Some days I feel really good. Some days I go into the gym and I hit a PR and some days I look like this guy. <laughs> I do start treatments and meds within like the next couple of weeks. So we'll see how that goes. Realistically, I probably lost about 15 pounds. Thankfully, the human body is wonderfully designed to function with a small amount of food. You can still perform your tasks. You can still exercise. You can still strength train with a little bit of food. Hopefully my body reaches a set point so I don't have to worry about any more continued weight loss. Besides that, I'm pretty much chilling, that's it. We're playing this by ear, but hopefully I can show people that you shouldn't let an illness or a lifelong chronic illness stop you. Stop you from doing what you enjoy, stop you from helping people, stop you from smiling and enjoying life. That is pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching and understanding. If you enjoyed the video, give it a heart. If you wanna talk more down below, if you have questions, let me know. If you really enjoyed the video, you can share it. I mean, this stuff isn't easy to talk about, but you know, if you want people to know, more power to you. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that is it. You can do all three if you feel froggy enough. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, guys, remember to stay mentally fit, emotionally fit, and physically fit, and I will see you all in the next video.